Okay guys, welcome back to uh, Force Hobby. This is my first unboxing of a phone here. This is the S22. I see that it's pretty much black on black right there. This is the 256 gigabyte here I got from T-Mobile here. I pre-ordered it. It's my first premium phone in like seven years. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it here. Sure. Just a typical user here. No, not, not like a tech um, tech addict here. Addicted to tech. Although I could be. Maybe it's like my new, um, my new thing now with these phones here. Those of you guys who are considering getting a Samsung S21 or S22, I mean, if you have an S20, wow, look at this thing. It's a very, very pretty phone here, guys. Now, the main differences from this one here, I was just reading some specs online. This phone is a 6.1-inch display over the 6.2-inch, a little bit smaller. And look at this rinky-dinky box. I mean, no charger, of course. You got to get your own 25-watt charger. It does come with a little pin here to put your SIM card in. Nothing much here in the, in the manual here. Well, you get your... USB-C cord here, which is great. Used to give you a wire. I mean, seven hundred bucks is seven hundred dollars for this phone, or eight hundred, I believe it is. Um, yeah, so this is a Samsung Samsung S22. It's really this is for the wireless charging. Really, really nice. This is the nice Phantom Black, which I really like. And I think the previous version didn't have a black. They had only a Phantom Gray, from what I understand. Uh, maybe the FE. Now this is just the 22 regular version is also a 5G capable phone. So back close thing here. Look at that here. Beautiful matte display here for the black. I like the black. It just keeps it kind of simple. I think it's a kind of little flagship color there too. Um, very sleek. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. See what the battery life is already. See how nice this display is. It really, really feels nice in my hand too. Those of you guys, I think Samsung did great, uh, went back a little bit. To get the feel of a smaller phone in your pocket, which is which I feel from my other my other phone here, which I'll compare it to. This is a really comparison. I'm just going to show you what I had before. I did have uh, I have a Motorola Z3 Play, so it's a completely like a dinosaur compared to this thing here. This is like a true, you know, the pinnacle of like Android stuff is a Samsung. If you guys don't like Apple, is Apple or Android, you know. Worse than one another or different or one's better than the other. I don't think so. I think it's just all based on preference You know Here we go here. Very very cool. Let me set this phone up here guys real quick. I'll get right, I'll get right back to the video Okay, I got the uh, Z um, Samsung S22 on my desk here now. I'll go over some uh, specs. I got some boxes over here too as well Screen protector here from Amazon. We're gonna I'm gonna put this on and the, the cool case here that I just put the little green tabs here on uh, check out these cases here work the both of them are Amazon it'd be linked down in the description there below and I got the Samsung box here and I'll compare it to my previous Z3 play box there how huge it is. Here's a phone right over here. Let's go out and compare these phones here Okay guys, now my phone is here. I am using a GoPro to uh, record this here So yeah, so this is my the Motorola here uh, This is the Motorola right here, which is which kind of recording I'll get this off there. So um the screen size for my Motorola, it's 6, six inch 0 0.1. This is this phone here, this is the 22. It's um, 6.1 inch, but I don't know, it looks smaller than the Motorola. I'm not sure, but the thing is though, I just see here the bezels on the Motorola, how it comes. Most of it is like not covered with screen. So on the Samsung side here, this whole phone here is covered with this with this screen here. I did the uh, boot it up everything, so. You can tell here that has that nice outline here with the Samsung. It really goes across the whole entire screen here with the phone. It makes it, you know, I guess uh, looks are a little bit deceiving with these phones, right? So, but in, all in all, it is technically a bigger phone from the screen size. I see the bezels here. Those aren't really, um, the this, this screen doesn't really cover that area here. So it's cut off there, as you can see there. See, it's a lot of black more around. This has less. So it's pretty pretty cool how they uh, you know do these phones here. I know the uh, you know those of you guys who like a bigger phone or a smaller phone. Um, if you have an S twenty or S nine or S like S six, the S S nine or S ten, couple years old phones, do I recommend you going to the S twenty two? You know hell no man. You know these phones here are like forty five year phones. You don't want to keep upgrading your phones. This one here, I had this phone for about two years now, and um, it's been great. It's a Motorola Z three Play. Uh, it's been a great little. It's been a great phone. It's not a pre the premium phone, but you can tell you the box here. Of course, it, it came with the um, came with the adapter and everything. Of course, you can tell the the new the new age. Now look at this. Look at this comparison here for the new box here. So it's like, wow, you're really getting this little phone here. 
compared to the big phones. You know, I guess I know the eco-friendly now. It's eco-friendly, saving the environment and all that stuff. But, you know, to all of us, doesn't that get a little bit annoying? You know, but uh, yeah, I'd rather have a small box then, you know. Of course, you know, but no, uh, no, no uh, charger block, but no big deal. You know, uh, I'll put a link down in the description there below too. If you don't have a 25 watt charger, Amazon has one now on sale for like $18. So I'll put down down there too as well. And uh, yeah, you can just see the comparison here, how, how new these phones have been uh, have come and you know, saving materials and all that stuff, you know. I know the battery, this phone here is significantly lighter than the uh, Motorola. So I'm not trying to get really do a huge comparison here with this phone. I'm just to let you know what I had. Now I have the S22 now. So for me, it's like a drastic change of course from holding this phone to this phone you know but let me go ahead and put the um screen protector here on so this screen protector here um i got over here this guy here so this guy here you always want to swing the knife away from you too you don't want to never want to swing it towards you so and uh this guy here this one here said it was um uh fingerprint friendly for the uh, samsung so we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on here. It's a two pack here. And it comes with this guy here too to line them up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, screen protector here on real quick. And uh, I'll let you guys know how I how, how it works. So give you also a little phone review for me from Force Hobbies and the stuff that I'm using here to protect the phone, of course. This really cool screen, uh, screen case also as well. It's really nice here, I put those on. This is the um, yeah, Taurus. Uh, it's also like very really durable too. It's got a kind of kind of a semi clear back, so it will show it will show your phone color through here slightly. So it's, I got a black phone here. We'll put it in here, pop it in for you. I have this factory protector here on still. See, it's pretty cool. It's got like a smoke black color to it. I like it. It's also very easy to take out. You know, like like nighttime. I know you guys like maybe taking out your phone from the case and using it, holding it. You know. It's a, it, hey, it's very light phone here. And if you happen to be home, you're not gonna drop your phone out and about, you know, you can take the case off. Let's put this uh, screen protector here on my, uh, the Samsung. All right guys, hope you guys like the little open box there. Nothing much really much to see in a box for the Samsung. Uh, yeah, so I installed the screen protector here uh, very, very easily. I got my phone over here just to ghost my uh, image here for my GoPro. Uh, it does come with this little thing for the camera as well in the back, which I put one on already. Unfortunately, though, the uh, so my face recognition is on to unlock my phone. So I took also dark mode off. I had a dark mode on. So uh, dark mode is pretty interesting. It's everything is see that everything is in, in black there. You take the dark mode off uh, just for camera purposes here. You guys can see what the phone what the phone performs and how it does and everything like that. Um, my Google feed over here too. You know, very cool. Hey, cartoons, weather, you know, a bunch of stuff there. Tech. I'm into all that cool, cool stuff here. What can I use here? Whatever happened to... Oh. Oh, look at this. Sony Xperia. So we got that too. That's pretty interesting. Okay, I think they, I think Google knows that I bought a new phone. That's pretty obvious. So I set this phone up. All my accounts are in there and everything like that. Does it perform better than the uh, Motorola phone? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is a four U, This is a 2022 model phone. The Motorola here I have is a 2018 model here. It's a Z3 Play, like I mentioned. And the phone is... I mean, drastically larger than this one here. We don't just want to go off here, though. But see that? Side, yeah, they both have the screen, uh, protectors on here, as far as the casing and everything here. This is definitely a little bit bigger. But I think this one here, this phone has a bigger body because of the uh, outside frame. You can compare them like this too. And this guy here, you, you can really tell that the um, just the phones in general are smaller. You know. See if that works. Face doesn't match, of course. Why does my face match every time, right? And the fingerprint sensor, see, on the, on the protector here does not work. So, uh, do I recommend this protector here? Um, yeah, I recommend it. But um, just to say, take a ghost mirror there off. It's kind of annoying. Here we go. There. I think I think once I slide this phone up, I'm still kind of, I'm still learning how to use this phone here. So, uh, yeah, my I think because I have my GoPro mounted in my head, maybe it's not recognizing me that I have a things that I got sticking on my brain but yeah see you overseas guys there's a little size comparison here and we'll do a little speed test here as well I'll do a little speed test just to compare these two guys here for the, the Gmail this one opened up even after I uh, I hit it so there you go so a little, a little quicker you know let's go a little YouTube thing here I'll try to click them at the same time 
this is on YouTube here opened up this one this one uh, was a little slower but you know you don't want to compare that though I think um as far as having a smoother operating system yeah this one's a lot smoother I can tell by the by the touch of your fingers this one here takes a couple seconds for it to move around this one's very quickly oh, this is a different too this is the oh, this is the older Android I think uh, I'm thinking I'm using Android 10 on this phone or 10.1 I think whatever they had it but yeah so um but like again before the bezels on this phone here are just simply the whole screen is almost a whole outline of the phone with this one here a few millimeters where the screen is not that's why it's uh that's the way it is so it may look bigger it looks a little deceiving with these phones you know you may think it looks smaller but once you have the phone yeah see see i'm trying to use the fingerprint again here it doesn't doesn't work and my face doesn't work of course too i don't know what happened there but um yeah, overall this is a lot more sharper too you can tell the images the images on the phone the resolution is more sharper more tight and uh, let's compare. You guys are in the market for uh, for a new. I make this video pretty uh, pretty quick, so it's not gonna be like a long video. But if you guys are in the market for a new phone and you want to upgrade, your phone's a couple years old, the S20 or S21. I, I highly recommend you do not you know buy this S22 here. The reason why I bought it for yeah, it's a little bit newer phone, and my T-Mobile. I just got the um, the plan. You pay like thirty one dollars, and it's also the reason. The main reason why I got it for is having two fifty six gigabytes over the S21, one twenty eight gigabytes. You know the same price of S21. I might as well get the S22 with the, with the extra memory. They had a little deal there for promotion to pre-order it. And then 15 megapixel camera. Not much difference from the 64 megapixel camera. They just down the, the camera. I mean, it doesn't really matter with the megapixels, man. It matters about really about the lens, you know, and how you take the pictures. So both cameras are probably the same, identical. You're not gonna see no difference in cameras, camera-wise. The video is the same, 8K, 24 frames a second. No really, no really, no major drastic changes there, as far as that too. Uh, one other thing you can look at also is just the chipset. The chipset for the S22, of course, is the uh, 8450 Snapdragon 8 Gen. And then the chipset here is um, 83, 8350 Snapdragon 888 5G. So they, I think they just named it differently, that's all. So it's Snapdragon uh, 8450 for the S22 and the Snapdragon uh, 8350 for the uh, S21. Of course, the European version is a little bit uh, different. Both of them are octa -core. The GPU is a little different too. GPUs is at um, Europe, and you have this one here. Uh, GPU is a little different, so 660, uh, 670. Yeah, so a little bit from, from my YouTube channel, Force Hobbies, uh, like, you know, a little phone review there since I got it. So I'm going to also be doing a, a follow up video, testing out the uh, the lenses of this phone and, and the quality of the, of the uh, video. So I look forward to that. I'm going to do that probably in a couple of days. I'm going to figure out what to film outside filming, maybe my car, maybe some cool stuff there. I'll do to see the performance of the phone with HDR10. So uh, those of you guys who have like a computer that's 4K or a, te a television watching YouTube, that'd be kind of cool too to stick around and watch for that. I'll probably do some some cool, uh, you know, cool videos and see the performance of the video and see the quality of the the camera. Yeah, guys. So uh, would uh, would I recommend personally recommend this uh, screen protector case here? Uh, probably not, only because the, the the mere fact is the main feature here, guys. Uh, you just can't access the fingerprint. See that? Will not work. I have all my fingers, three of my fingers hooked up to it, and it just doesn't read it. See that fingerprint's not recognized. And my face, did my face recognize at least? Let's see. Oh, I think because uh, because it's um, I went I went I had to put the code in there. I went uh, too far. So um, yeah, I would not recommend this particular screen protector here. I guess this is it right over here. Uh, a cell. And from, from Amazon, it was like eight dollars. You know, it does come with this one here too for the camera in the back, which I put on there. Looks awesome. It does protect your camera, which is really nice. Get you get two of these little pieces, two screens. I think it's like eight ninety nine for it on Amazon. Um, hey, you guys, find one that the screen protector fingerprint does work like very very good. Uh, let me know. Leave down a comment down down there below. You know, I would love to know. But this Taurus uh, uh, phone case, I love it. It's uh, awesome. You got the cool colors here. Got the green, and you can do the uh, the orange as well, which is awesome too. It feels very good in your hands, very very light. You can put in your pocket very easily too, and it's very very durable too. It'll protect your phone for for a very long time. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about the video here, and please uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are using for phones and phone cases, and if you're gonna upgrade or what Android phones you love best. Thanks all for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Force Hobby signing out. Get to the chopper!